15th of September, back 2012, I was entering into my first lecture class for master's degree at University College London, United Kingdom. I was pleased to go there by international scholarship for Bola Sharp. I was so proud, excited, enthusiastic, was full of um, authentic, pure eyes, full of joy and great expectations. However, 15th of December that year, after exactly three months, I found myself in one dark corner at the library, exhausted, overstressed, in panic, almost with no hope for a bright future. All of this because of my recent terrible results for midterms, for my midterm coursework. I got less than 10% performance rate out of 100 in all three subjects. I had six more subjects in upcoming term with very deep programming models. I hated programming, especially deep ones. With my sober and conscious mind, I sense that it's humanly unrealistic to obtain my master's degree under these circumstances, and I decided to quit my study. Being conservative and non-risk taker, I found this decision quite smart, because if I stop my study now, I return to government only the half of all money that Bolsha was intending to pay for my master's degree. <laughs> but right before making any final decision, I decided to call to my father. Hi there. Listen, I'm in a big trouble, I need your advice. The chance that I'll obtain my master's degree is close to zero. It makes all the sense if I stop my study now, because in this case, we return only $30,000 to Bolsha instead of $60,000. I need your advice, acceptance, and approval for this decision. <laughs> you have to be. <laughs> After the propose, I heard the advice that completely changed the philosophy for my life. My dear son, never quit in the middle because of temporary difficulties. You will encounter with multiple difficulties along the way to your great achievements. Instead, try to turn your difficulties into opportunities but only, only under one condition, do everything that depends on you, and you will not regret about any result. I found these words very motivational, and decided to continue my study. I started using these difficulties as a chance to develop, to learn, to grow out my horizons, and finally, I fell in love with deep programming. I started loving what I was doing, I started believing in my capabilities for a for positive outcome, in my master's degree. Time passed and the final exams were approaching. I had to gain maximum in all exams in order to compensate the lost mark of first and terrible term. You know, London is such a distracting and noisy city. It's so hard to concentrate, focus on your study only. A lot of entertainment out there, interesting people to meet with, a lot of places to discover. It's hard to stay resilient for your study. Uh, and once I decided to play football with my friends, and you know what happened? I broke my leg. I was urgently delivered to hospital, doctors put jeeps on my leg and asked to stay in bed for at least one month. I was serious, guys. I have very important exams upcoming. I have to meet with my professor, group mates. It was hard to accept this new challenge. But later on that day, I recalled the words from my father once again. Turn your difficulties into your opportunities. I saw. Well, I broke my leg, that's not good, but I have positive news as well. Mm, I can't go anywhere. My friends wouldn't call me to hang out. <laughs> I have to stay in bed for at least one month. That's a perfect chance to prepare for my exams. <laughs> I was studying 20 hours a day for the next one month with very small break for food and sleep. Finally, finally all exams were taken. And the 15th of September, 2013 already, at morning, I attended my program director to know the final results of my exams and finally to figure out if I'm done enough to obtain my master's degree. That day, 15th of September, afternoon, if you'd be in London and walking down near main building of University College London, you could probably notice some guy who visually reminds me with very big smile on his face and feeling excited and so proud about the news that he had done enough to obtain his master's degree. Thank you very much.